what is going on YouTube we're back at my place with old reliable here so we got the engine pretty much taken apart I uh, took the headers off off camera so I didn't get a clip of that but they're long tube headers they're sitting on top of the toolbox now and they'll probably be for sale here shortly but the game plan for today is to get this thing off the truck I brought the cherry picker so we can pull the engine out of the truck and hopefully we can get this 4.8 out of here somehow I just realized that it doesn't run anymore so I'm gonna have to figure out how to lift this up and over the bed with the cherry picker and maybe move all this crap out of the way so this is just my garage so I don't got much room to work with and we'll figure a way out so I'm gonna start by pulling this engine actually start by unloading that thing and then pulling this engine so let's get to it guys I forgot how heavy these uh, old Chevy starters are. Damn thing must weigh about 30 pounds. Thing's a dinosaur, man. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we got that thing off. Uh, now I just got to get the bolts off from around the bell housing. So I'm going to undo those real quick. And hopefully we can pick this engine right out of there. All you need is a three and a half bolts holding your engine and transmission together. So I had one on each side, one to hold the dipstick up, and one up in the top. And the one on the one side over there was broken. So yeah, three and a half bolts and it'll hold your 350 and your turbo 350 together. All right guys, let's see if we can try and squeeze this thing out of here. So I'm gonna put you on a time lapse, but we should see it come up and out. All right guys, so sorry about the lighting. It's getting kind of dark out here, but look at this. Check it out, guys. Flywheel had a hole in it and it was completely cracked all the way around. Oh yeah, buddy. So this is a good engine, but it just needs a flywheel and it should be good to go. Check it out, the whole thing moves. Uh, well, I was getting it earlier, but yeah whole thing was check it out yep but i don't know how she was running like that i'm surprised that thing didn't explode or break or whatever the hell happens there but it was still running like that so i guess it's just dumb luck huh but yeah so we got that thing out so now i gotta put it in the corner over here and i'm gonna work on getting the 4.8 liter out of the back here so I'll try and get that there and then we're gonna clean it all up and stuff and do things like that. All right guys, so last week we did end up getting the engine out of there. Got the transmission being held up with the two by four. <laughs> but she's sitting here so i guess the next step is going to be uh taking these exhaust manifolds off and i want to get these motor mounts off so that way we can end up putting our swap mounts on there with our original clamshells from the old 5.7 that i got sitting over here in the corner now so we gotta work on getting these ones off here because you use the original ones to bolt onto that 4.8 so i'm gonna get started with that and I'll let you guys know what we can do. Alright guys, so I got to take the original clamshell off this uh, old 
5.7 liter here but before i did i just wanted to take some measurements and it looks like we got maybe 13 and a quarter to the back corner of that motor mount so that is supposed to be a one inch setback with those other swap mounts that's what they're supposed to do so i just want to make sure they're lining up in the same spot so as you can see we already got the manifolds off both sides took the dipstick out and i also took off the power steering bracket i'm not going to need that anymore so i'm going to show you guys how to put these other mounts on real quick and maybe we can stab this engine in there today if not tomorrow all right guys so we got the four beveled holes here and those just mount to our original positions there so i'm gonna go ahead and get those started there I did put a little bit of Loctite on each one of these bolts, you know, just to be safe. So hopefully it doesn't, they don't back out, you know, and nothing ever happens with this. So. All right. So it looks like that thing's on there. Now just time to line up our clamshells. All right guys, so I ended up wrapping it up the other night. We uh, ran into a couple problems with these mounts. So, I mean, they bolt right up to the block, so they're we're doing what they're supposed to do. And I need to use this front hole. So this is your actual one inch setback from your original mounts to the front there. So I wanted to put these on there, our old clamshells. But as you can see, it's not quite flat. It's got that big bump in the middle, so it doesn't sit flat. So, luckily mine came with these things here. I don't know, it, this was on for the 5.7 liter out of an older style Suburban. So I don't know if, if you guys need these, it looks like it has the triangle cut out and then it sits perfectly flat on top of it. So, I mean that was no big deal, I figured I could bolt it on, but the slower corner is hitting there on that little bracket there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to cut it right here. Just like that with my saws off. It should be good to go. But I also have the same issue with the passenger side. So I'm going to use the spacer over here as well. I'm going to end up cutting it there. But this one actually has a bump on this spacer as well. So what I'll end up doing is probably cutting this out as well. So luckily it came with those. So I'm going to try it that way. And if it fits, it works. Maybe that's a new way of putting them in. I've seen a couple guys put washers behind these mounts, but I just didn't want to do that. So the next problem I'm having though, is that it came with this mounting hardware, but they're going to be too short with the mount and the spacer. All right guys, so once again, these came off of the 5.7 liter off of a newer Suburban. They're the ones that have the bottom bell housing that comes off the transmission. There's the old rod that was on the corner but this is what we got left here so it's a flat little triangle and it has the hole cut out so our clamshells fit right in there and our passenger side i ended up having to cut it like this because it had that bump and i just didn't want to waste my time grinding but i mean they fit on there perfect let's see here something like that right seeing the holes line right up and everything so that's all we need it just needs to be a spacer i mean and I got lucky, I ended up pulling one of the intake bolts off of the R5.7 liter over there and looks like these bolts are just the right length as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use those with a thick washer. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on guys and hopefully we can get this engine in there, in there by the end of the day. Alright guys, so I ended up using the two intake bolts right there and right there. But this third one up here in this corner... I actually had to take out and replace with the short bolt. So the reason being is actually if it sticks out anything past those threads there, you can see this one, this one sits flush with the block and then it kind of opens up the gap. So those threads were hidden and bottom man out on the block before they could, uh, before I could tighten up the long bolt. So we ended up having to put a short one in there. But yeah, other than that, I mean, motor mounts on there, it feels solid. We got a little bit of a spacer, so 
I'm gonna say it's good. We'll go ahead and do the other side, same way. And then we can see if we can stab this engine in the truck today. All right, guys, our mount is on. She looks good. It was the same thing on this side here. We have the three bolts. The bottom one's a long one. The front one's a long one, but this back right one had to be a short one. But yeah, guys, looks like our motor mounts are on. Time to shove it in the truck. So we almost jumped the gun there. Um, from the research I've done is we can still use the stock flywheel off of the 4.8, but it looks like we gotta maybe wallow these uh, three torque convertible holes out. So we gotta make them a little bit longer this way, this way, and this way here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbolt this thing here and I'm gonna put it on the spacer that we got for our torque converter right there. And then we're gonna wallow them out just enough so that we can get the three bolt holes to bolt on. And then it should be to go. We'll put it back together and we'll stab this engine in there. All right guys, so I got my flywheel off and as you can see here, the bolt hole on my torque converter, I got one bolt on the bottom there, but you can see this top one's not quite lining up. So from everything I've read, guys along it out but it seems for some reason on my torque converter i need to go the opposite way i gotta go down to maybe you know about right there to the bottom of this metal ring where it was at before so i'm gonna go ahead and do that kind of sucks because i already did all three holes but i'm gonna go ahead and grind it down now and see if it'll fit like that so i'm gonna go ahead and wall those out a little bit and we'll get back at it all right guys so look we got our three torque converter bolts in and they spin easily and I wallowed them out a little bit extra so that way we have some wiggle room you know don't really want to pull the engine out again if I can't bolt that flywheel on so it's better to make them longer than you have to so that way you can have a little bit of extra room to move this thing up and down you know because it needs to be perfectly centered once it's bolted onto that engine so yeah guys let's bolt it back onto the engine and like i said before let's try and stab it in there all right guys so check it out we got the 4.8 liter with the swap mounts they're uh lsx innovations with the original clamshells and we had to use the spacer from the 5.7 liter then we got our uh, flywheel holes wallowed out, actually down, so that our torque converter lines up and we got our torque converter spacer there, the cock ring that you call it. So technically guys, this thing should be ready to drop right in. We're gonna use our original motor mounts on the truck and our original turbo 350. So let's see how easy this thing is to get in here. Uh, my shop door is kind of low, so I might struggle getting it past the hood. But once I get it past the hood and over the core support here, we should be good to go. So yeah, I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse and you guys can watch me do it. guys so she's sitting on the motor mounts bolts through the hole uh, I still gotta put my bolts through the transmission bell housing to the engine but other than that I mean she's in there guys old reliable's got a new heart so yeah I mean it looks like uh she's in there so I think our next step is gonna be putting all the stuff back on this engine I gotta put the intake bolt the transmission to the motor uh, put torque converter bolts in and then i'm gonna probably start on the wiring so yeah guys i mean looks like our 30 dollars ebay mounts worked and our 20 dollar cock ring spacer so and you just had to like i said wallow out the holes 
and I had to use some extra spacers on these uh, $20 mounts. But other than that, I mean, it's looking pretty good. So, yeah, guys, I mean, the old reliable is getting the 5 or 4.8 liter swap in it. So she's looking pretty damn good. Hopefully we can get her done here in the next couple weeks. Um, if you guys like what I'm doing with this old C10, you know, like and subscribe. I'll be doing more posts on it. Hopefully we can get the electrical done here soon. I did just try and test fit one of the exhaust manifolds and it looks like it's hidden on the frame rail. So I'm probably going to have to order some different manifolds, maybe some headers or something like that. But we'll see what comes with it. You know, I'm not looking for performance. So I've heard that, I guess, the SS uh, Trailblazer, I think it is, ones fit a little bit tighter to the block. So I might go with those. But we'll see what the price is, you know, versus some headers. So yeah, guys, you know. If you like what I'm doing, again, like and subscribe. And remember, stay up, hustle hard.